Hi dear students, how are you? Obviously you all are fine. We know that now we are facing a lethal disaster that is pandemic form caused by COVID-19 or coronavirus. When we will overcome this situation in normal condition, our school, colleges, all educational institutions will open and our classes, exams will start. So, we should have or must have continued our study regularly. Dear students, dear learners, I hope you must do that. Besides, you will or must follow the guidelines of Ministry of Health or who. Well, we will discuss about tense. Firstly, we have to know what is tense. Here, the definition is, is tense is the form of a verb. I am repeating, tense is the form of a verb which shows the time of an action. Here, two important sides, we indicate two important sides, one is form of a verb and other is time, time of an action. Form of a verb means the verb can be present form, past form and past participle form or verb plus ing or verb with ing and the time can be tomorrow, yesterday or today or a specific time. Well, I am repeating again, tense is the form of a verb which shows the time of an action. What is verb? Verb, a verb expresses or indicates the doing of an action. That is, doing anything is called verb. Now, we will discuss kinds or types of different tense. Kinds? Mainly, there are three kinds of tense. Number one, present tense, past tense, and future tense. I am repeating present tense, past tense, and future tense. Each type can be divided into four types. Each type can be divided into four types. That is present indefinite tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, present perfect continuous tense. Similarly, past indefinite tense, past continuous tense, past perfect tense, past perfect continuous tense. Again similarly, future indefinite tense, future continuous tense, future perfect tense and last one is future perfect continuous tense. Overall, tense can be classified into 12 types. Okay? Do you understand, my dear students? I hope you all are understanding or understand this class we have to try to learn the essentials of 
different kinds. Here, I will classify a technique with a technique that is a structure of indefinite subject mainly subject first part of a sentence second part verb and third part object or extension when a sentence we write actually we first subject second verb and third object or extension here subject and object will be fixed only verb will be changed at first we will discuss case in the form of a verb here we will learn with compare if we learn what with compare we will understand easy so past indefinite sorry present indefinite past indefinite and future indefinite subject will as usual object or extension will as usual so verb only verb will be changed then present in case of present indefinite tense verb will be principal form principal form but principal part of present form i indicate this beyond and past indefinite in case of past indefinite the verb will be past form i indicate here i indicate d2 finally future indefinite the verb will be shall will or beyond for an example here and third one is we shall play cricket here we can see that only is sentence only verb will be the verb will be changed here play That is principal verb of present form. Play past form of principal verb and shall play shall auxiliary verb play beyond that is principal verb. So there are three stages of structure of indefinite. That is. present indefinite that is past indefinite and future indefinite i hope dear learners you will understand you must understand this example now i will discuss this type of sentence we can convert into affirmative form or sentence negative sentence or interrogative sentence so at first 
we have to know the auxiliary verb. If we know auxiliary verb, but if we can indicate the auxiliary verb of a sentence, we can write or understand how to make the sentence. These three forms are affirmative form. If we want to convert into negative form, this type of sentence will we do not play cricket. Here do is observable. We play cricket. That is first form of the sentence. So we did not play cricket. Here did is observable. And this type of sentence shall is observable. So we shall not play cricket. These are the three types of interrogative sentence. Sorry, negative sentence. And the interrogative sentence will Do you play cricket? Do we play cricket? Did we play cricket? And shall we play cricket? That is is of the reverb seat before the subject seat before the subject and the rest part of the subject will as usual dear students i hope you will understand the lesson next class i will another topics Take care and stay home. Thanks a lot.